Bro. Yo, yo, yo. I feel like every time I do these freaking little peaceful leader videos, I'm always like putting the damn camera down. I'm trying to be super polished. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, man, I got a little bit of time. I just finished a b-ball workout. Can you see the sweat? Can you see the sweat? It's me putting in work at the park. And I just finished that up. And I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me change up how I do these little things here. And let me just chat with you. Let me just chat with you and share an idea with you. I have my smoothie. I have Marcos. We're good to go. Marcos is gonna sit right here. He's gonna sit right there. Marcos is gonna get out of the video, actually. I'm gonna sit my smoothie a little and I'm just gonna come at you like a human. I wanna talk about kind of like focus. I wanna talk about like mental focus, like where to focus your mind. And like, also another reiteration too, by the way, if you get any like value or like, hold on. If you get any like value from these videos, like make sure to like, you know, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, I do these videos once a week. They're called the Peaceful Leaders Podcast. So, you know, make sure you, you know, check it out, right? So, but basically what the show is, is basically me just talking to you like, so I'm a rapper and a music producer, if you don't know me even if you do know me and I'm like basically but I'm very interested in entrepreneurship I'm really interested in like reading personal development like legit like I know it sounds corny like come on you must be interested in something else and like I am but like most of my time is really spent with like personal development even my free time I do a lot of reading like I you know I read every day um, I work out twice a day I, I'm pretty serious about just like personal development and like just being a better person but you know, that's not to say that I don't do other things, but like this show is pretty much my perspective of my journey as an entrepreneurial musician. That's kind of how I like to put it. So what I want to, so a lot of the topics are personal development. A lot of the topics are like entrepreneurship stuff. I'll probably talk about, you, you know, music stuff, but I'll use music as like the vehicle of like how I learned certain lessons. But that's basically what the show's about. So if you're into that, if you like know who I am and you're seeing me and you're like, oh yeah, I've seen that dude on Facebook or I've seen him on Instagram, I want to check out more of his stuff and you stumbled across this, this is probably a good opportunity for you to get to know me further, deeper than the music. So if you do want to check out the music, it's everywhere. But anyway, that's enough about me. Let me kind of share with you just kind of what's on my mind, what I'm thinking. So I want to just talk about like what I've learned about how to focus my mind and I want to talk about just like just the idea of like what I put my attention to is what ends up happening. And what I mean by that is like my intention. So if you're into, I don't know if you've ever heard of or like thought about manifestation and stuff. And I honestly like it's you, if you think it's woo woo and you think it's like, Oh, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, you're living under a rock because manifestation is like super real. I'm a pretty, I believe in it. Um, I'm not the best at practicing, like practicing it, but I believe in it because there's actually science to prove it and back it up. So I'm gonna talk a tiny bit about it. This is not like a breakdown of manifestation, but I wanna just talk about focusing your mind. Basically, the, what I've learned through my own experiences, whatever I focus on in terms of emotionally. So if I focus on a certain type of emotion, that's what the emotion is, that's, that's what emotion is going to come back. So what I mean by that is like, if something happens that I don't like and I get frustrated and I focus on that frustration, that's what's gonna to continue to happen. I'm listening to a really good audio book right now called Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. First couple chapters, really freaking woo woo. And I was like listening to it and I'm like, bro, come on, are you serious? But it ended, it, it, it's get past the first couple chapters and it's like, oh, this is it. This is the key. Such a great book. I have the physical copy too. I just haven't started reading it. I'm listening to the audio on Audible. Um, but basically, I've learned that the way life works in terms of the way things happen in your life is the universe does not differentiate what you want and don't want. What I mean by that is like, so I guess the understanding is that like whatever it is, is in your mind, whatever you create, whatever you think about is what's going to happen. And I guess this is where I, my understanding is not so good, but I think there's like, some kind of like access to, this is where it gets kind of woo woo, but this is like access to the alternate universe and like we can control things with our brain. Like our, there's also thoughts, I guess there's studies and theories that the future is like, we are legit building the future now based on like, cause we're creating the universe that is of the tomorrow. 
I don't know. That's where I kind of like get stopped up. But the point is like whatever it is that you're thinking about or whatever you're your feeling is what's going to happen. So if something happens and you don't like it and you get frustrated and you keep thinking about it, you're just gonna build more frustration. So what I was saying, the point, and this was the big key for me, was the universe doesn't differentiate what you want and don't want. The universe doesn't give you what you want and then take away what you don't want. It doesn't work like that. So if you keep saying to yourself, let's use money as an example. I wanna be wealthy, I wanna be wealthy, I wanna be wealthy, cool. The universe might assist you in being wealthy, but if you keep saying, I don't want to be wealthy, or, or sorry, the, if you say, I don't want to be broke, 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 the universe is going to make you broke. It's weird, but that's the truth because what you're doing is, here's what's going on. This is what I've noticed in my mind, and I'm going kind of deep, but when I think about things like I don't want to be broke, what ends up happening is my mind starts to think about how bad it would be to be broke and why I don't want to be broke. My mind starts creating images of what it's like to be broke. So now my mind is, is I'm painting a picture of broke and I'm imagining myself in the world of what it's like to be broke. Now the universe looks at that and goes, that's what he's going for because that's where your mind goes there. Wherever your mind goes is where you're going to go. A lot of this, by the way, is off the books that I've listened to and the stuff I've read, but a lot of this is off my own intuition. I've realized that when I focus on, all right, I want to I wanna do this thing, right? Let's say it's wealth because I'm pretty focused on getting money. I want to get this money. How do I get this money? And then I start imagining ways to get this money. All right, well, I could do this. I could do that. I could do this. I could do that. Maybe I should start doing this. Well, what can I do today? What can I do right now? Could I start doing this? See what I'm saying? I want to give you another example, actually. And this is something that I've manifested that is happening right now. It's, it's not necessarily wealth, but I want to share this. Growing an audience as a, as a musician. Not super big yet at the recording of this video, but you know, one thing that I've, since, I mean, I, look, I've been doing music for 11 years. I'm in my 11th year. So I've been like manifesting wanting an audience for a super long time, right? And for the first like few years, I was building this tiny, tiny, tiny little grassroots audience of like just people who knew me. I realized I was like, all right, this is cool for now, but I need to eventually branch out to people who don't know me. Duh, if I want to make music a living, if I want to make, get rich off music, and not just get rich off music, but live the life I want, just making music all the time, I have to branch out. <clears throat> Duh, right? Well, I manifested it a lot. It wasn't about, it wasn't until the, the way st things started happening really for me was when I started thinking, okay, I don't want to think about, I don't want to fail in music, I don't want to fail, I don't want to fail. It wasn't that. The thoughts were, this is what I want. I want to grow this audience. I want to be successful. I'm imagining my audience, you know, blah, blah, blah. And as, as I started learning more about music marketing, because my intent was focused on that, I started, fo my intention started changing. So my intention was, I want to blow up. I want to do this, that. Then my intention kind of became a little bit more specific and realistic, which was, I want to grow an audience on autopilot. I want fans to come in consistently on autopilot. Aha. As opposed to I want to, I have to physically grab my phone and pound the thumbs on social media to get fans. I want fans to come in without me doing anything. Ah, see that's that just that intention is awesome because before my intention was so misaimed. I don't even know if that's a word, but it was my intention was just so like I didn't really misdirected. That's the word I meant. My intention in terms of growing my audience was so misdirected that I was like. I wasn't able to really get it done. But when when the when, when I I kept man I I kept thinking, I kept focusing my attention on I know I want to grow an audience, I just don't know how. I don't really know what that means. But when I started like just I just continued thinking and thinking for years, 7, 8, 9 years, right? 10 years, 11, I'm in my 11th year, it's just like constantly every single day, what am I going to do? Um then it, when I came to that conclusion of I want my audience to grow on autopilot, consistently on autopilot, without me doing anything. Well, how do I do that? And then I came to discover paid ads. I came to discover that you can actually run paid ads. You can use Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube. You can even use TikTok. You can literally just pay money 
and your ads will pop up on people's feeds. You guys have you've seen that. I mean, you might have seen me from a paid ad. I hope you have. That'd be sick. But it says, you know, it's a little thing. It says sponsored and you look at it, right? So when I really discovered the power of paid ads, I was like, oh, this is kind of what I was looking for in terms of growing an audience on autopilot. So I've been running paid ads for quite a while. I started running paid ads in about 2018. Wasn't any good at it at first, obviously, but it's been about 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. So it's been about four years, four and a half years that I've been pretty much consistently running paid ads. I've spent around ten to eleven thousand dollars in those four years. So not that much, ten ten thousand or eleven thousand total across four years. Not a ton, but but it's accumulated as okay. The more money I spend, the better experience I get, and now I can understand even further of like okay, well. Now that I have all these people that are in this pool of audience, what now? And like, this is the cool part of it. The very beginning of my music career, my intention was I want to make a live, I want to become wealthy with music. I want to make money with music. I didn't get into music to become wealthy, by the way, because music is like not a great way to become wealthy. It's a really difficult industry. There's a lot of other things you can do with your time and you can make way more money. So way faster but like I knew that I was like I I wanted to make money with music for the idea of being able to just wake up every day and just do what I want to do every day which is make music obviously I want to exercise work out spend time with my family now my wife at the time that I started doing music obviously I wasn't married but now it's like all right I want to spend time with my wife I want to spend time with with great people making great music having a fun time I want to travel like things like that like literally stuff that I think is going to be fulfilling for me that's what I want to do to do that, I have actually realized what I need to do. I need to make a certain amount of money to do that, and I don't need a certain thing too, which is cool. So when you get your mind really focused on what it is you want to do, you actually start to realize what you don't need. So for example, when I first started, I was all, obviously, I was like, I want to be as big as Kanye, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick. I want to be as big as possible. My intention changed a lot. I, I don't I don't have those goals, to be honest with you. I, I kind of, I don't even... My goal is not to get signed to a record label. I'm not even thinking about getting signed. I don't want, I don't necessarily, I'm not rejecting the idea. I am very willing to meet with a record label and get signed if it makes sense, totally. But my mind isn't focused on I need to get a record label because I don't feel like I do. I know I don't need it. There's too many examples already up to this point that I've seen of artists who make great money like Russ. Um, Russ, Tech Nine, Macklemore, Chance the Rapper, Nino Bless, uh oh gosh independent mike stud mike i love these guys like these are artists who are independent you know what i mean and they don't they're they're not signed to a label rex life raj great examples right of people who are independent artists larry june larry june is independent these are all people who make amazing money and they make music that's what they do and i'm like okay i don't need to get signed to a label which is great I don't need a billboard charting song. I don't need a million monthly listeners on Spotify. I don't need a song on the radio. I don't need big features. I don't need to get signed to a label. I don't need a Grammy either, by the way. I don't need a Grammy. I don't need that stuff. Like, I don't care about, like, just, like, external shit like that. I want to be the best I can be, and I want to inspire people, and I want to impact people, and I want people to change their life based on what I've done with my music. Like that's my intention. I don't need to be signed to a label to do that. You know what I mean? And I want to generate real business, real revenue with my music. So because I've been able to focus my mind on stuff, to be honest with you, my, my fan base is growing. I'm running paid ads. I have a video right now. That's a winning video. That's doing super well on Facebook and Instagram. And it did well on YouTube. It got over 101,000 views on my YouTube channel. It's called Watch Me. You can go check it out. It's gotten 20,000 views on TikTok. I spent like maybe $160 on TikTok. It's got over 40,000 views on YouTube, on Facebook, and it's growing my audience super heavy there. So but the point is, that's not to brag. That's to show you like... Because I meant, because I thought about it, because I focused my mind on it, and because I came to a conclusion of what I really wanted, which was grow a fan base on autopilot consistently, boom, boom, this is what happens. And now I'm growing and I'm doing a lot better. And so, 
you know, that's what I hope that you take something away from this video. I'm mostly trying to document, but I, ho I hope you get some value. I hope this that you found this and you felt like you could do something with your life too. Like that's what I want to do with these videos mostly. Literally the reason I started doing these videos again and this podcast again, I say podcast because it's not really, it's more of like just a video of you and me talking. But like the reason I did it was literally because I just was like, I miss making content like this. I miss making content for my warm audience. I miss just talking. Like I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to experience things with you. I just want to share with you ideas. Like it doesn't have to be super polished. Obviously today wasn't. I just finished a workout. I'm wearing my dope tank top from Anchorman, which I got for $4 at 24 hour fitness. Flex! I got my freaking smoothie. Like this was so like not planned at all. I knew I had to do this episode today, but it was going to be make sure to shower, make sure to get your shirt, like make sure to place it over. It's like, nah, bro, put that shit down. I'm literally being, this is being held up by my phone and a, and a, and a, and something else. Like, so this was just super unofficial and like, I just wanted to come at you like a human and just say, yo, what up? And share an idea with you. So I hope you got value from it. If you did like the video, comment on it and share this with somebody else. Like actually show this to someone else. Right now, I'm not running ads on these videos. I'm running ads on other stuff to grow my audience. But like these videos, these Peaceful Leader podcast videos, I'm not running ads on it. I want to just be here for you and grow this organically. So if you could, go share this, share this with somebody, all right? Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Peaceful Leader podcast. I'm Lizzy the Gifted, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Peaceful Leaders wanted to let you know that this episode was brought to you by my really good friend, Dan Yu. So really funny, when I did my Kickstarter for my album, Dan actually was the biggest contributor and he purchased a shout out on the podcast. So he doesn't have a product or a service or a brand that you know he's trying to sell you. He literally just wanted his name to be shouted out. So shout out to my man, Dan Yu. Appreciate you so much, my man, for supporting me and my dreams. You're awesome. And if you're watching this right now and you want to get your name shouted out on the podcast, DM me, hit me up. We can see if we can make it happen. Thanks so much for listening and for watching the episode. And I'll see you on the next one.